All right, everybody, here we go. Episode 7, Inside Nagafin, you're the best around. Oh, boy, we have a big show today. We have tons of stuff to talk about, and we've also got uh, Jeff Malone in the house. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm Sifo. This is Chaz. And uh, so here we go. Like I said, we're gonna, it's going to be a chore to keep this down to, to under an hour. I know, I know when we first started this off, we're going to say, hey, 30, 45 minutes. We just can't do it, especially today. Not going to happen. Too much going on. Too much to no, talk no, about. Jeff. Jeff, I'll tell you what, man. Um, I had to ask the guy like ten times to shut up. <laughs> this is the type of guy that talks in church. You know, I can tell. I can tell. This is a guy that like literally gets kicked out of the library. He just talks way too much. It is. He is. In fact, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, you know, last week's last week's show was great. It really was. I mean, I, I think it was probably the best show that we've had. I mean, Fire Dog, hey, I tell you, I, I give uh, big props to Fire Dog. He, he came in, and he was a great interview and a great guy and is a part of a great guild. But I'll tell you what, I think Jeff Malone's going to give him a run for, the, for his money. Um, Fire Dog was awesome. I'll tell you what, I, I, I truly enjoyed it. I look forward to visiting with him more uh, outside of the podcast. But uh, I've I've been always pleased by Jeff and his accomplishments, even though, you know, I was one of the first ones to admit that I asked, you know, is this guy for fucking real? Well, I know. And, you know, but the very, I, I said the same thing in the very first show. Like, he, I, yep. I thought he, was, you know, I thought it was a complete joke when I first, when I first saw his website and all that. And I was just like, you know, this has got to be, I thought it was like, you know, Asat or Storman or somebody that had just kind of gotten tired and wanted to, like, create some sort of new persona. But, uh, you know, that that was completely wrong. And, you know, I'm a big fan of Jeff Malone's website and kind of what he does in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know it wasn't Asat because there was no mention of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, and, and let's... That's let's, like the first thing. Let's admit it. Asat's not that funny either. Um, no, no, <laughs> except, you know, and everybody tells me, everybody told me, I said, is, is this Jeff Malone guy just, just jerking my chain? And, and they're like, nope, this is the genuine thing. This is the guy who is 100% real. And that's why, uh, Darkhand picked him up and, uh, messed around with him because they all said that, you know, this guy, this guy's for real. So this is going to be a good interview today, man. Yeah, well, let's get into into emails real quick, like we always do. Uh, we're just going to touch Definitely. over this. This will be real quick because uh, we we didn't get a lot of em- we got a lot of emails just saying, "Hey, great show! Thanks for you know, thanks for doing it, whatever." Um, but we got one email that was kind of had had a, an interesting uh, bit of info in it, um, and that was from uh, a guy named. Uh, well, wait a second. I pulled up the wrong yeah, one. I don't know if you want to toss his real name out. Well, yeah, you're right. I almost did uh, say his uh, his real name, and I know I definitely don't want to do that. No. Yeah, I don't think you... He might not be too... Well, it depends. I mean, if he's looking for a girl. <laughs> yeah. You know, he could toss his name out. Well, and, and the... Well, maybe he could, be, he could be looking for a guy. Maybe so. Well, I, I'm not going to... Nonetheless, I'll keep his real name, uh, uh, you know... To myself here, but anyway, it was a. It's a guy f- from, uh, I believe, from Durather, and what he's saying right. it's, it's Lucian and Benji, and the, he's actually the uh, guild leader of Purity, and Purity, I guess, is a, is a pretty big Kino guild over on that server, and uh, they've they've gone through and they've had a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, they've had polls and discussions and whatnot of their on in, within their guild to kind of figure out where they're going to go. And uh, they have decided to come to Nagafin, and I'll tell you what, I'm I'm pretty stoked about that. I mean, the more people, the better. Um, although they are coming to Kinos, which I would like to see a, a big Freeport guild move in, you know. And I've heard there's a guild called the Rat Pack, and uh, they're all a bunch of uh, right, uh, whatever rats, whatever that damn race is. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Ratonga. There we go, Ratongas. Uh, they they have Jesus. a whole guild of Ratongas, and I heard they're moving over to uh, maybe coming over too. So that would be cool. But um, anyway, that, I think you know that guild purity and Lucian, uh, the guild leader. Uh, I'm glad they're coming over. I think it's going to be awesome. I think they made a good choice to to pick this server because I really do. You know, this is the best server. Uh, it's the best server, without a doubt. I think. Well, I mean, it's the long. It's the best PvP server. Um, it, they did it right by allowing transfers to come on over because let's be honest. Um, just alone in the past week, I mean, even now I hear reports. Like an inside report from uh, Jeff Malone, 
that um, there's a big contested fight going on right now over the princes. So, you know, a PvP is here, man. T7 PvP, sorry. Yeah. Which we'll get to our last one. Well, yeah, and you know, in a little bit. and if we weren't doing this show right now, I mean, I'd go right up to, uh, I'd go right up to uh, Guardian Isle, and I'd, I'd try and uh, hide behind a rock and like, you know, on guard somebody in the back, and then get out of there real fast or something. I would, I, I'd bitch slap Ifrin. I would straight give him the strong pimp hand. Give him the Chaz pimp hand. Sorry, I, the, he gives the Chaz pimp hand. Well, let's um, let's let's That's revisit our poll real if quick. If you want to impress me, Ifrin. Well, hold on, hold on. Okay, if go, you go want to impress me, disband from Dark Hand, make a guild called Chaz's Hose. You can be the leader. I'll come in, I'll get my money every once in a while, my tokens, and we'll be cool. <laughs> you don't got my tokens, bitch. You get the strong pimp hand. Well, and, and what you need, it needs to be Ifrin and Matten. They need to be in the same guild together. Yes. Yes, and EK. Ifrin, Matten, and EK. They can all join a guild together. Chaz's Hose, huh? Chaz's Hose. All right, what do we got as far as our uh, weekly poll? Okay, here's our poll. And we'll, the poll was, what tier has the best PvP? And we went from Tier 7 to Tier 2. We had 119 votes as we are recording right now. Um, and we'll start at the bottom. Tier 2, 6 votes. Tier 3, Woo-hoo! 7 votes. Tier 4, Yay. 2 votes. Tier 5, 2 votes. Tier 6, Whoa. Zero. Imagine that. Tier 7, 102. So 102 out of 119 votes say that Tier 7 PvP is the best, and you know what? I gotta agree. Um, Well, I mean, come on. Let's get real. Let's just say that those Tier 2s through Tier 3 little level lockers don't listen to the podcast and didn't come vote. It still sucks. Yeah, it does. I mean, it just sucks. Even everybody, even... I'll say it again. Dank Shasta decided to play a dirge uh, that he bought. For those of you who didn't know that, yes, eBay does sell accounts. And, and um, hey, man, he's even a T7. I don't even think he knows what the hell he's doing, but he's still up here trying. So, yeah. you know, get up here. And he's having Come fun. Come with the big boys instead of swimming with the minnows. Yeah. And he's having fun, even though he's getting pwned all the time. Right. I mean, and that's, I mean, that's what this is all about. It's, it's fun. I rip on Ifrin, I rip on other people, but guess what? I, I wouldn't know him if I ran into him on the street, and it, it's all, I mean, yeah, he, I think he's an absolute retard, but he, it, it's all in fun. Yeah, well, and you know. I'm going to say retard a lot. I'll even say, I'll drop an F-bomb, fucking retard, just for all the people out there who said I dropped a lot of F-bombs last week. Fucking retard. Sorry, I had to get that out of my system early. Well, no, speaking of retards, I just wanted to make this comment because I, I, I wanted to just say something about Matten because um, he kind of he kept posting some nasty comments on our website after, you know, you said that he zerged us, which he did. I mean, I, I was there, too. I saw him. He came, and he zerged us several times during that fight, and it was a great fight. But, you know, he zerged, and why is he trying to deny it? I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyway, that's old news. But what happened was, was he was... He was uh, spamming our comments on the damn website so i was messing around and i i think i accidentally banned him from the site so anyway i i don't think it's a great (laughs) i don't think it's a great loss um anyway but uh you know matt and if you can't leave any comments anymore uh well sorry i really don't care um because you know matt and i I think he's i'm not hurt but you know i think matt has been banned from i don't see him post on the Nagafin forums anymore, so he's probably working off a ban for that because you know he he zergs forums just about as bad as he zergs PvP. I mean his he just comments uh, over nonstop and it's just ridiculous and it's not it, it, there's no value to it whatsoever. I mean there are people that make a lot of posts and that's fine. Like they're the comments that they leave are either funny or helpful or or you know maybe they're talking smack about somebody, but at least they have some content to them. Matten is like, he leaves stupid comments like, I like pie and stuff like that. I mean, that's just ridiculous. It just really shows you what a mental yeah, retard he's he a is. Retard. Five bucks says he zergs his parents for his allowance every week. <laughs> Probably. He don't just come once. He comes like six fucking times with his hand out. You know, one, one of these days, maybe Taco Bell will boost him up. Yeah. But right now, he still needs to zerg for that allowance. Well, why don't we why don't we bring okay. Jeff Malone in and then let's talk about some of the big topics um, that were on 
the forums this week because there's a lot of stuff going on from token farming um, to titles being, you know, uh, you know, people talking about Swass and Dacus and Broken Sword and their titles and all that kind of stuff. So let's, and he, you know, I, you know, Jeff Malone is gilded with, with some of those folks. So it would be great to have uh, yep. him comment on this stuff. So Well, according to uh, Level 60 chat, which I just happen to be looking at right now, Jeff Malone has been spotted in Barren Sky. <laughs> and I might quote Leaded is saying, kill the noob cake. <laughs> so Jeff, hey. if, if you can talk, join us if you're running join for your life. To, your life. Tell him to lay off. I'm just, I'm just trying to escape. There's about a thousand of you um, goodies up here, Kinos fellas. <laughs> <laughs> tell him to stop. He's getting interviewed right now. All right, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to pass that along. That's cool. There's about five exiles on Guardians, so uh, if they want to come up here and murder us, <laughs> that'd be funny. <laughs> well, welcome, Jeff, man. Thanks for joining us. You've been a hot topic all Thanks, the time bro. on our show. I love your show. It's really cool to get to come and talk to you both. Thanks for coming. Well, yeah, definitely, definitely. So give us a little background, man. Where the hell did you come from? I mean, don't give me the whole mom and dad uh, uh, backseat <laughs> during a drive-in thing. But give me the whole, like, uh, legitimate, how'd you get in EQ2? What made you start the website? Okay, um, like, a few months ago, I was playing um, WoW with my buddies, but I wasn't really feeling it too much. I said to them, guys, come play EverQuest 2 with me. It looks awesome. And they're like, no, they didn't want to. So um, I told them I was going to go and play, and I was going to make a site showing them how awesome the game was and hopefully get them to come and play. And they still haven't come, but um, everyone else <laughs> seems to like it, so it was a, it was a good venture. Well, send them, send them oh, our website. Great, maybe after they hear you, hear you on a podcast, maybe they'll want to come over now. I told them. I said to them, I said, I'm going on a podcast. I'm like, no, you're not. I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> so they don't believe me. Dude, well, so we're so uber right now. I think we have like six downloads last week. Yeah, actually, we we we're <laughs> still, we're doing good. We're still pushing 500 a week, so it's uh, you know, we haven't had any uh, drop off. So somebody somebody's at least downloading. I know, you know, my mom. She actually uh, she goes to it every day. So that may be skewing our statistics a little bit, but I don't know. I think your mom just likes my voice. I don't really want to m- mention that on public. But uh, I, I don't think it's the content so much as the Chaz. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> she's really, really after. Sorry, I just had to bring it out to the front. Yeah, well, so, so, so you decided to make the website f- basically to show it to some of your friends. But then what did you do as far as, like, where did you come up with the whole, like, shirtless PvP thing? Because I'll tell you what, I mean, I think that's brilliant. I mean, I think that's, that is that, some pretty funny. That that's a funny. pretty funny concept, the whole shirtless PvP thing. I was just, um... I was just trying to think of something different to do with it. Like, I mean, I play a ranger, and it's not hard to kill people on a ranger, so I thought of at least I'd take my shirt off and do it a bit kooky then. might be a bit more challenging. It was, uh... Dude, it was, it was funny. First time I saw that, I laughed my ass off, and we made jokes. We're like, you know, buy that dude a shirt. You know, the way you were running around, it was like a Cirque du Soleil episode. You know I mean? I've got, uh, got a couple um, breastplates and stuff, but I've never bought one. They've just dropped when I've been in groups. I wear one raiders because they make them. <laughs> they make me wear one when we go raiding. I'm like no, but they say no. You got to put on a, on a chest piece. So, so you got to wear a chest piece during raiding. But normally, you 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 normally you really you never wear a chest piece. Is that right? No, I strip it off. I run around just showing off the the guns. <laughs> <laughs> Which for you? The manliness. That's funny. so. What do you prefer better, raiding or uh, PvP? Oh, dude, I tell you what, I do love to raid, but PvP. I can't pick. I mean, that's why Negafin's so awesome, because you can do both. But, like, I did heaps of, um... I used to play EverQuest 1, right, when I was so young. And I played a warrior back there, and there's right. all sorts of raiding there. So I do love, um... I do love, like, to raid and that, but... Both of it's just awesome. So how many kills you got now? Let me just check. I have, uh, 1,510 kills, 720 deaths, and a kill streak of 1, so watch out. <laughs> I'm coming up. Well, that's good. I got more kills than you, but you started about eight months after I did, so. Yeah, you did, would you? Yeah. You know, you leveled up to one or 70, uh, 70 levels and 100 AAs, Exile, and uh, that's impressive, dude. Even though you had Dark Hand, and I know you guys only roll on the times four everywhere. Four yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> Which I don't know where you guys always find the time. I think they have a special tag just called the times four for anybody who joins Dark Hand. Well, I heard that actually... But, um, 
I heard that Dacus is so uber that he can have he has twenty four computers and he can actually play a whole times four raid by himself. Dude, Dacus is like a spider. He has so many arms. You never know what he's gonna. <laughs> I didn't. I heard it was his arm. Actually, I heard it wasn't his arm he was using. Um, I heard that he has other hotkeys set, but I guess his uh, main hotkey set to the space bar. And uh, yeah, let's just say Dex it's a good arm. thing he ain't getting laid, or else he'd lose the use of that space bar. Uh, Dex is so sweet. No, he man. just got that overseer as well. Yeah, that I saw know. that. I heard he got it off a of rabe. Yeah, apparently that's what his screenshot said. Well, you know, let's that's nice, um, dude. Let's talk about that, because there were a couple of uh, pretty uh, nasty email chains that went on uh, this week. Uh, not email, but posts, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Um, I think, one, it started off, I guess, uh, Tass got Overseer this week. And right. he was... Was it, was, was it... Not Tass, my bad, I'm sorry. Uh, Swass, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tass getting overseer, dude. Oh, yeah. There's that's a better Tass chance of me becoming a woman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I didn't mean to... Th thanks for the correction there. But anyway, Sw so Swass uh, got overseer this week. And that one, um, Dacus, speaking of Dacus, he made a comment. He made a post saying that, hey, he kind of put, put his logic to it to how it wouldn't be possible for... Um, Swass to get it, you know, by going out and PvPing. Now, I, you know, me, I, hell if I know. I don't, you know, I don't give a shit about titles. I don't um, really know any of these people that well. I don't PvP with them. I don't roll with them. I'm not in their guild or anything like that. But there was the accusation that Swass got his Overseer title um, by, I guess, uh, unscrupulous means. Now, is it true? Right. Is it not? Hell, I don't know. What do you? I mean, what do you think? What do you think, Chaz? Did you read that? It blew up to like 15 pages in about in about half an hour, and then it got deleted by the mod bat. Here's here's my issue on it. Um, I don't know Swass. Um, I don't know Dacus all that much. Uh, um, the numbers that they relayed, yeah, it kind of made some sense. But the thing is, is the title system is so messed up. You don't know exactly how many ticks it's going to take to get anything. You can only estimate. You know, there's no official numbers out there, no explanation on effectively how everything works. And, and you know, that so was... kind of just a shot in the bucket. Yeah, and I, well, I think you said it best right there because they've never defined this title system. And, I mean, I don't... You know, and to say that, hey... There's no way he could have gotten these kills. I mean, I, I I don't know. Like I said, I don't know who all has master titles, and I don't know, you know, I don't know what the, how the system works exactly. Nobody knows. It's not. It's never been published. Um, I don't know how it works. So you know, like I said, I no. somebody let us know. Tell tell us. Uh, send us an email or leave a comment. Tell us. Uh, you know, if you got some more got better ideas than that, I don't think. Well, anyway, Swass is he's not an overseer anymore, so. I guess the the point is moot at this point now. And I don't foresee him. I mean, I don't foresee, even if he did farm for it, which is the accusation, I don't foresee him uh, coming and admitting it. No. Unlike another certain individual who went into the 60s chat and admitted farming tokens for gear. Oh, man. Now, let's talk. There, there was, there's the guild, Art of War. Not there's a There is an individual player right. named Art of War with a PH in there. <laughs> And so, not him. Art, Art of War, the player, is not in the guild Art of War. Let's just make sure we get these two names and guilds separated. Um, but the guild Art of War um, was pretty much... Uh, I mean, I, I don't think this is really a rumor. I mean, this is pretty much a fact that they had... Well, they, they, they admitted it. Well, yeah, they, there were four of them that I'm pretty sure that... I have good source that says that four of them uh, got all their PvP gear taken away, and also one of them quit. And so I'm gonna throw the names out because you know what? Because I'm not scared. So we do that. <laughs> that's what we, we do. do. That here. So and and if you're one of these people and you think that I'm full of shit, then you know, hey, send us an email, send me a tell, whatever. I don't care. Uh, we'll be glad to uh, you know if I'm wrong, then I'll be glad to admit it. But these are the names of the people that I have been told. 
uh, were token farming and had their gear taken away. It's uh, Hacken, uh, Sowski, yep. Dreads, and the Hooded One. And I heard that uh, Hacken has now quit the game because of that. So, anyway, not sure if that's true or not. He was but, a retard anyway. But, you know, I, I honestly, um, wh- whatever, that's what you get. I mean, what's the point? I mean, what's the... Is it's a game. The whole point about the game is to exactly. play it and like earn stuff. I mean, I take I take great you know pride in in earning things in this game, and I think it's fun, and I have fun doing it. You know, I'm not gonna buy plat. I'm not gonna buy tokens. I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna sit here and you know farm an alt for for tokens. So anyway, Jeff, I mean, you come to yes. you, you seriously your whole uh, exile thing. You guys don't get tokens. Um, no, well the thing is, we if we get back to our chest in time, we do have tokens, and like some of the XL players have banks full of tokens. They they can't do anything with them, but they we do sometimes get them. Like if you guys right, but you that can't chest. use them worth the crap. Worth the crap. Uh, we have to look at them. So you had one of the biggest exposés ever, where you literally uncovered a token farming going on in progress, and it was brilliant. It was one of the funniest things I've ever read. I did that. That yeah, was, was the resty thing. Yeah, that was great. And and I was telling Chaz, I was like, you know, man, he's actually, he was actually, while he was fighting him, he was typing in the chat to make the chat bubbles come up. And Chaz, he thought yeah. you superimposed that. But I knew, because I, I, I saw it in the chat window, too. I saw the text in the chat window. So I knew you were actually doing that. So, again, I thought that was absolutely brilliant. So how did that come about, man? What did you do? Well, I just, um, because, like, I finished Nerd 1 and X. Oh my god, as I'm saying this, Homicide just flew in to um, Guardians of World Dawn. Anyway, I could never point in Exile, but the Wigraf and Waldo were always online. And um, they never say anything, so I wondered who they were. And people were like, oh, they hang out in Gfei. So I went out to Gfei and found them, basically, and they were just the corpses laying there. And a few minutes later, Beresi turned up and did his little thing. And what I thought was so funny about it was, like, here's a guy with, like, heaps of PvP armor, and I'm there just typing to him, and he couldn't kill me. I was just running in circles. So I thought that a good PvP <laughs> would, um, would be able to mince me up, but well, he was uh, being played by his sister or something. Seven full PvP gear and, and app ones it ain't going to get it done. <laughs> yeah, it ain't going to do it, man. Not only that, but it doesn't matter the gear. you got to have a little skill. you got to have a little knowledge in how you play your class. It's not the gear. I could, I could list 500 people with awesome gear who just suck. And yep. I could list people with very minimal gear who are incredibly good. Just like Ephraim. Yeah. Uh, well, in the end, no. <laughs> but still. Nice try. You know, I almost agreed right there for a second just because I'm like, you know, Jeff Malone's too good to try to slip this shit by me. But no, I've got to tell you, he's sweet. If you got to know him, I reckon you guys would be like best friends. He's a really oh, nice I, guy. We might even go to prom later this year. You yeah. know, I took my I took my retarded cousin to prom. I'd, I'd take Ephraim. Well, you know, we're all going to go to, uh, we're going to try and go to Fan Fest, and uh, Ifrin's going to show up in his ninja costume, Fire Dog's going to have his, uh, <laughs> Fire Dog's going to come with his uh, fireman, you know, outfit on. I'm going to show up wearing, uh, you know, my gladiator outfit, and uh, Chaz, you're going to be wearing your prom dress, right? My prom, either my prom dress, or I'll be dressed like a priest. <laughs> either way, someone's getting screwed. <laughs> An ass raping's going to happen at some time. Yeah. <laughs> I just told my phone would be on the receiving end or the giving end. What do they do at we'll this to see. I don't know, man. I've never I been to one. Everybody just, I assume everybody just sits there and tells everybody how good they are at game. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the only thing I could see happening is, you know, dude, fuck, I'm Uber. No, I'm Uber. Uh, no, no, I'm Uber. I've heard that it's it's a, like it's a good. cross between a, a Star Trek convention and a Renaissance fair. Jeff, you should fly in from... Uh, uh, you're from uh, from your accent. I can tell you're kind of from Japan, right? You can fly <laughs> yes. from Japan and uh, come to Vegas for this fanfare. Vegas is 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 very exciting town in America. There's a lot of Japanese people there, so you'll feel at home. I've heard it is. I heard you guys have like televisions and all sorts of things there we don't have down in Australia. <laughs> yeah, we got <laughs> well, Australia, dude. Th- it's Japan. You really need to buy a <laughs> map or an atlas or something. Um, Clueless. Anyway. When you come from Japan, dude, come here. Me and you will sit at a table and we'll roll a 20-sided dice. And whoever gets the higher number would win in a fight. <laughs> How's that? Hey, I don't know. I've got myself a screenshot from last week. You have killed Chaz. Join the other thousand people that have that. 
<laughs> well, like I was saying before, I cashed mine in for like the five Dark Hand DKP for killing Chaz. <laughs> Sweet, dude. <laughs> I tell you what, Ifrin got one last week too, dude. He got me half buffed sitting there by a spire. He busted me. Well, you know, I'm first well, person a minute. I was gonna say there was a, you know, we we tangled with Dark Hand uh, a couple days ago actually, and it was kind of interesting because. We were forming up to go uh, raid, uh, what was that raid zone, by the way? I don't remember. I think, was it yesterday, Ascent of Awakening? No, the Times one four? the one in, in Tenebris Tangle, where you got a, that's over there by the, it's on Temple Grounds? Ah, uh, Lyceum. No, oh, it's not that one. Yeah, yeah, that was for ten. Oh, and we were going for Harladar. No, that's shit, it. Chaz. You don't, you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it, we were forming up, and we were, we were, we zoned up into, uh, Tenebrous Tangle, and uh, we had a couple people, couple stragglers that were behind, and we had, I believe we had two people at the Antonica Spires, and they got they got immediately attacked and ganked and killed by I, I don't know how many there were I think there were, maybe there were about eight uh, Darkhan, and our our raid was a little split up, so we didn't we didn't drop down on them with a full uh, times four, but I mean we we were a solid two and a half times two and a half. And we dropped down on top of them, and we, you know, the a brawl ensued, and uh, you know something that I had never really thought about or seen, but uh, one of the one of the uh, druids popped open a a freaking portal, and Darkhan freaking disappeared. So uh, anyway, I thought that was kind of I thought it was kind of neat. Of course, I'd have rather them stay and let us kill them all for their tokens, but um, they booked out through that portal, which was pretty cool, kind of good deal. So. I, I say I say I think we it was won. More Onyx, was it Onyx? Well, I know I say yeah, Darkhand because Sunny and Kaylee. Well, because I know Dacus was in that group because he was like attached to my ass for half the fight. I think he really wanted to kill me, but I had some good healing that kept me up. So, well, of course you had great healing that kept you. Yeah, I and blackout. No, blackout took care of me. Yeah, it was blackout because I was too busy DPS. <laughs> so I'm happy that blackout was because uh, wardens do. Nothing but DPS. Yeah. Don't let anyone fool you. I put uh, stone or spike coat on, and I throw myself into people until they die. It's basically <laughs> all I do. Human ball. But <laughs> that's exactly what I am, dude. But, but I think it was a mix next year. Hey, what do you? You know, you get the whole. Uh, everybody calls it, you know, dark onyx, just how it used to be dark havoc. Um, you're on, on the <laughs> inside. And, and, and you're going to get that, dude, because you guys always run around together, and you guys are a powerful force in the game. You, you don't get you pointed out because you guys are noobs. You guys get pointed out. So, do you guys raid together? Uh, how, how does it work? Like, if you guys raid together, how does loot split and everything else like that? Oh, well, like, we don't normally raid together. The thing is, like, because there's just Dark Hand and, on and Onyx, like, in, um, in Exile, Exile chat is like a, it's almost like a cross-guild chat, and we're just talking there all day. Like, we're all really good right. friends, and that... If we all like uh, group up and do different instances with each other, that, that sort of thing. Um, and when it comes to raiding, like normally, what is it? What, what's stuck coming up to? Like we can take down um, Hurricanus by ourselves. We've done that pretty much. I th but sometimes, like we'll group up with a few Onyx guys. Or a few of us will group up with them more, like to do some of the some of the more difficult stuff, like princes and what have you. Right. I'm not sure. Right. Um, I think if there's, I think if it's like. I think if it's a mixed bag, like so many of us and so many of them, then the, like the two officers, they're all just random, and the highest number gets to pick an item of loot first, that sort of thing. It's something like that. It's always worked out That's pretty cool. well. Who do you think would win in a fight? Onyx or Dark Hand? Like, like raid or group or, or what? Let's go uh, six on six. Six of the best versus six of the best. Well, hmm. I don't know. They've got a pretty awesome, like, six team. But... If we have Dacus and Craden and a few of our guys, I don't know, man. It'd be close. Like, as everyone says, Broken Sword's an absolute tank, but I reckon I reckon it'd be real close. I wouldn't even want to call it for fear well, of being. Well, let me tell you. I'll tell you exactly who wins. Right? You get six of Onyx versus six of Dark Hands. You guys go up to uh, no Common Lands. I'll make it fair, and you guys fight. The person who wins is Chaz, because I'm gonna sit there and watch you guys <laughs> beat the sh shit out of each other. And then I'm going to just do an area, so when you die, I snag all the tokens. <laughs> so that's basically who wins right there. FYI. And then I'll get all the fame, too. That's that's what matters, right? Right. I don't know. Like They never really had any fights like that. And, of course, when they were in Freeport and uh, we were in 
when exile we used to have some sweet fights with them, but I've honestly got no idea. I don't even know who the top six would be from each guild. I think it'd be five Jeff Malone and Dacus oh, versus six uh, Broken Sword and Kaylee, but the uh, problem is, is once you hit Kaylee, she runs, so... <laughs> <And it's, laughs> It's kind of like a, a dog. You touch it on the nose and it just runs. Kaylee's the toughest. She's got the tiniest little gnome character, but she's an absolute tank as well. She just eats spaces. Oh, she's good. <laughs> yeah, but I've also been in situations where I saw her book like a, like a rat in a cage. Or out of a cage, actually. <laughs> just out. Well, you, you know why they're so hard she's to smart. kill. They're, yeah, it, I, and you just said they're smart, and that's the thing. Like it, Just the two of them, I mean, they'll go ahead and they'll... They'll beat the crap out of a single or two people or even three or four people, but whenever they get outnumbered, like they're slippery as shit. They can get th those two can get away just always somehow. They can always sneak away oh, yeah. and get away somehow. They're good, dude. I I don't you know we've already discussed uh, the legend that is uh, broken sword. We don't need to get more into that. But. Um, he's good, and and Kaylee's good. I just I've just seen situations where I've watched her, uh, him, her, whatever. It's a her, right? It is a her. Yeah, Kaylee's a chick. She's real nice. Yeah, I I I just haven't had the pleasure of speaking with her. But you know, the, the let's let's go in a roundabout way that um, I've never booked on anyone in my guild why they're or group why they're fighting. But if everybody's dead and I'm the last one, oh, I'm on my high horse the hell out of there. <laughs> I am. I'm running like a bitch. You know, a lot of people run. Is it because of the titles? Is that what it honestly comes down to? Is is I watch. I'm gonna chuck chuck them under the bus here because they piss me off. Um, they do have some good members. Um, I have had no problems with the Delphi, even though he has a cult following of people who hate him. But um, a lot of people from Monged, uh, you know, obviously are starting with an airline with how much. They uh, jump, and I've been severely disappointed in Mong. Is it all due to titles? Well, I've, you know, my my stance, I think they should totally get rid of them. I mean, I, you know, and I mean, titles are something kind of neat, but they really don't mean, there's no benefit from having them, and yet what it does, it the result of them being in the game, I mean, there's no bonus for having a certain title. But what it does do is it is it has an adverse effect on you know the PvP in general. So I mean I just really don't see it. there's really no positive reason for them to be there. My my what opinion. What do you think, Jeff? You get the feeling that people like just don't want to fight because of the whole title thing. I mean, like the other day when we were all in all in Mystic Lake, there was I think um, five groups of um, of Exile and a whole heap of you uh, Kinos guys, and we had everyone there and like we we're fixing for a fight and didn't eventuate, and you can only think why, and people don't want to lose the fame, I guess. I'll tell you why, that there was, uh, there was people who didn't want to fight. I was severely disappointed. Um, we got called, we got basically called, uh, and asked for help at, um, a mob, a contested mob. We got a times three together and ran there, and we got there, and, um, other guilds didn't want to fight at that time. Uh, we we tried to fight. We, yeah, uh, you guys came up the side of the uh, waterfall. It was you and yeah, we tried to come up the waterfall to do some fighting. But um, you know, there's only so much that yeah, I think it was like 15 people can do against a times five. <laughs> yeah. So I was severely disappointed. I wasn't going to go out without trying to hit somebody or do something. And uh, just eventually when the other guilds uh, decided to wrap up that they were leaving, we just kind of were stuck there uh, with our thumbs up our asses saying, what now, looking at a times five. So we just said, it's screw it, shame. we left. Like, there never, or at least lately, there hasn't been that much great um, PvP over contested mobs, and, like, there's so much opportunity there. Like, I think that uh, the Arbor and Onyx had a fight a while back over something in Burnmire. Well, I can't even think before then, the last time there was actually any good fighting over a contested mob. Like, Dark there Dark needs used to, to go out for, for, like, days over Hurricanus. Like, we'd have people who'd just sit up there, basically, just to screw with them. But no one else seems to want to do that. No, and I agree, and, and, and there honestly needs to be more of that. I, I know, personally, I'd like our guild uh, much more involved in stuff like that. 
you know, we're just newbies at, at some of the raiding stuff. We're just, we're barely getting death toll access finished and stuff like that. Um, which is much more than any of us ever thought we'd get. We thought we'd just be retards at, like, level 24 a whole lot. Yeah. But, you know, the fact that we've done this, we've been very pleased with. Um, I truly, truly want to get involved in stuff like that, because that's the fun shit. Granted, I'm not a big hipper on raid times raid PvP, but I like the 6-on-6. Six six. I like the, t even, you know, the 12-on-12, 12 12 or just or just something cool like that. There needs to be more shit over contested mobs. That's the whole reason we're on this server, is to fight. That's it. Exactly. You know, I hope that they're, in one of the expansions in the, in the future, that they, uh, have some sort of expansion that addresses, you know, PvP that adds some adds a new aspect to PvP. Maybe a, you know, like a contested zone or something that that's always, you know, maybe there's a keep or something that you got to try and, you know, take control of, like the old base wars from uh, SWG or something like that. I don't know, but I mean, I know, I mean, I understand that there's there's only so many PvP servers and and the vast population of people that play EverQuest to are uh, PVEers, which you know, I don't right. think I could. I just don't think I could ever play uh, an MMO that w didn't have PvP in it. Now, after this, I, I honestly don't believe that I could. I, it's, it's just too it's much fun. fun. It's too much fun. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 what we all wanted. I mean, is is that what's the reason you picked the server, Jeff? You wanted a fight and you wanted a raid, right? Yeah, I wanted PvP basically. I mean, I played um when I back played EverQuest on a blue server. It was fun and all, but. The the one thing that I liked out of playing a little bit of WoW was the fact that it had PvP. And um, got me hooked on it, basically, yeah. so I was more than happy to roll on Naga. It was the coolest dragon ever. I think one of the reasons why World of Warcraft became so popular early on, because, you know, EverQuest and War World of Warcraft launched at about the same time. I think within a month of each other back in, uh, I think, November 2004, something around there. But I think uh, EverQuest 2 not having any kind of PvP in it is why a lot of people kind of bypassed it from the get-go. I don't know. Could be wrong. Could well, be. it's 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 it punish people's systems when it came out, though? Like, wasn't it, like, really just eating up the system of anyone who had a brand new computer? Yeah, it's still Base, up my it, there system. Was some issues. Yeah, it, it's difficult, but come on. You know, I mean, it ain't the only game to ever do that. Yeah. There's, there's been many a games that come out, and guess what? Yeah, because it's cutting edge, it's new, it comes out, it's going to require the best resources available in order to run it. Happens all the time. That's why God invented the upgrade. There was that the Jewish people. <laughs> Somebody invented the upgrade, and that's what we use. <laughs> well, and that's the thing, you know... Oh, you're not Jewish, are you, Jeff? Oh, no. Not personally. <laughs> we were th I was thinking this week, in honor of Borat, we might do a uh, inside Nagafin running of the Jews. Oh, jeez. You, know, oh, you know, the uh, the the uh, DVD's got like 30 extra minutes of footage that wasn't in the movie, so I can't wait to see that. Uh, it is, I watched it. It honestly is funny as shit. Yeah, did you know, he's sitting in a store pointing out, asking the, the stock boy, what's this? And he's like, jeez. He goes to the next one in line. What's this? Cheese. And he did it all the way down the fucking line. What's <laughs> this? Cheese. Cheese. Hey, did and you the see guy just fucking kept answering him. Did you see uh, the 300 this weekend by chance? Don't rub it in. I haven't seen it yet. Being the uh, comic book geek I am, uh, I know that uh, that might disappoint a lot of people. But no, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, Jeff, did you scope it? Dude, I wish. Like, I live in backwards Australia. That's probably not coming out here for another two years. Oh, I gotta man. wait. Ouch. Oh, well, I saw it. I so, actually did see it. Are you one of the types of people that, like, kills people in the outback and shit like yeah. that? Is that what you do? No, Australians aren't like that. We, we're cool. We're I saw chill. fucking Wolf Creek. I see that huh. shit fucking ha happening. Hey. If I, if I believed um, everything I heard about Americans, I'd be far more scared than talking to you guys. Dude, anal sex in the bathroom is not a myth. <laughs> it is true. That's why you don't overdrink in a bar. Ask Ifrin. <laughs> Ifrin, Ifrin, it just is too expensive for Ifrin to get drunk in a bar. He gets drunk before he goes so he can pass out in the bathroom. 
What did you ever do to, like, to get you to just love him so much? Because oh, I'm not sure of what happened. <laughs> you want to know the whole thing? I've Where only did had come from. I've only had one person ever sign on to a Q tune and talk shit. Was that different? And it was different. I I was I had uh, just come down from Baron Sky after buying some Taylor books and had like two plaid on, and Ifrin jumped me. And I was like, fuck. So I tried to fight him off for a while. And uh, he started to get the better of me. And I said, I'm not going to lose a, you know, a plat to this noob. <laughs> so I rooted him and, and booked. And uh, got away. evac called back to Q, banked, and started to head back out. As I started to head back out, I get this tell from this guy who just berated me. Calling me every stupid thing in the book. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? Is so I called him a noob thing? for a while and made fun of his mom, and, uh, of course, I used all the general gaming references. I, I explained that he lived in his mother's basement, so obviously he didn't know anything. <laughs> and, uh, I think he flipped burgers. I think I used that one, too. He's a pretty relaxed guy most of the time, if friends, so that doesn't sound like him at all. Maybe he was having a really bad day. No, he, he brought it on himself. So, I know a lot of people in Dark Hand. I like a lot of people in Dark Hand. I um, used to hang out with them when they were here. And I was just amazed that they would let somebody in the guild who would do that. I mean, there's t there's trash talking in MMOs. That's just how it's going to be. But, you know, there's just a point where it's just like, man, you're stupid. You're a fucking dumbass if you think this bugs me. So, luckily now, I get my own little soapbox and platform where I can, uh, quote-unquote, log into my own character and talk all I want. <laughs> so that's what I do now. I think fair is fair. Sadly, mine's just more public than private. You should That's my inference. Show his, um, okay, you can talk to Ephraim for four minutes and he'll he'll say nothing, then go, uh, what? He's kind of not with it most of the time. <laughs> that would explain the, the R word. The one that we're <laughs> not supposed to say, remember? That would explain the R word. So, so I, uh, I would bring Ephraim in here, but I don't want to have to explain to him how to log an event. It'll uh, just take way too long. So we'll have to find something else. Maybe I'll have him draw me a picture and crayon of some questions and answers, and uh, I he can try to pay. decipher his uh, language by that. Exactly. Is he a good drawer? Oh, yeah, he's very good with the arts. That's awesome, dude. I mean, awesome. is this crayon more like still life or more like stick figure? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to reveal the artist's <laughs> secrets before you have him on, so... <laughs> just, him, so. just wanted to check. So who would you who would you like to see us interview, Jeff? Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Is there somebody out there that just really that you're just real curious about, like somebody you really want to like hear from? Because we, but Lord knows, we get enough people that send us uh, messages saying that they'd love to be on our show. So, um, um, I don't know. Why don't you guys interview someone from Homicide? Because they're like a big group and they got a bit of bit of um. Like interesting stuff attached to them. Uh, who's their leader? Do you guys know who that is? I don't even know. It's it twelve gauge, right? Is, it, is twelve gauge? I I don't know honestly. I don't. I don't see the twelve gauge of song. One of the two. I get. I'll, I'll find out. That's actually probably not a good, bad idea. But there's some there's some people who try very hard to get on this show. Like um, what? Uh, what's that dude's name on the forums? The Brit who tries to call us out on everything. Oh, is that, uh, that med med menti meds or something like that? Yeah, some shit like that. <laughs> and that dude yeah, tries everything out, dude. Yeah, he does need a hug. Jeff, would you hug him for me? He's a gnome, I think. I don't hug gnome. Why not, dude? I'm a gnome. You got a problem with gnomes? Are you a gnome? I didn't think, like, that Chaz Warden was a gnome. Chaz is Chaz a gnome. Warden is... You stood over my dead body and you didn't know what I fucking was? Oh, but you were just like a, a pile of crumpled um, limbs. No, he couldn't see you because you were in null form. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, that. I was in null form. You I forgot invisible. about that. Completely invisible. Yeah, you, know, you snuck uh, that fact, waterfall. Oh, I didn't even sneak, dude. I came up right on top of four people and said, yep, I'm dead. <laughs> so, like, what's the... Tell me, you guys tell me, what's the situation like in Kinos? Do you guys, are there like alliances between the guilds there, or is it pretty much just like 
one guild they do their own thing and or what? What's it like? Because I only see the exile side. Like we, we've got a pretty good um team going. Let's see. I guess for lack of a better term, like I'm hap- I'm happy Prophecy's gone because I thought that uh, Zane was a douchebag, and um, <laughs> I thought that their guild. I thought there were some very very good people in that guild, um, and I thought there were some very very bad people. But Zane was a douchebag, so I'm happy they're gone. Um. I know personally, we just kind of keep to ourselves. If Arbor needs some help, we usually uh, go help them, and Arbor's been very good at helping us. Homicide is always seems to be looking for a fight, but the problem is, is um, you have these guilds who've just grown so much, like um, Dark Hand, uh, like Onyx, like Homicide. You know, I consider us to have grown a lot, where we're fielding the Times Four on a regular basis and taking down content. And a lot of these um, guilds got stuck in limbo where they either were failing um, miserably and losing members left and right, just basically bleeding, or, um, you know, just stagnant, just sitting there, not really doing anything. Well, you know, it's funny because Radiant Legion, we're, we're, we're kind of like the Borg now. We're just assimilating everything. I mean, why? I don't know. <laughs> we're not any good. I mean, <laughs> but I guess we're fun to hang out with, but it's not like we're really uber at anything. So, uh, but we've, we've actually gotten to the point where we, we, you know, pretty much turn people away now. Cause we really can't, I mean, we can't, it's hard to manage everybody we've got. I mean, we don't really need help from other guilds because we've, hell, we've got over 40 level 70 characters as it is. And we've got a bunch of, you know, level six, you know, 60 ish characters that are, that are leveling up. So, um, you know, as far right. as like alliances, we, got- we don't really, we don't really need to right now. That's the thing. We've got so many people. Kinos is really, really strong right now. I don't need a times four to go against a times two. And I don't think anybody in my guild feels the same way either. I'll, I'll fight. I don't care. That's just how it is. And, 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 well, no, I take that back. I'll run against a damn raid if I can get away from it. <laughs> Just because I don't want to give some free status to any noob. But uh, in decent situations, you know, you don't need a... We don't need to have a coalition of Kinos. Um, we'll help if anybody needs. But other than that, I mean, we're self-sufficient. We have our own crafters. Uh, um, uh, we got D who crafts the living shit out of anybody. Yeah, I gotta say... S- that plug. I gotta say something about... See, because you, you call him D, but... You gotta throw his whole name out there because he's been wanting me to mention his name and say, "Hey, if you're from Kinos and you need like any woodworking done, um, Daedro, D A E D R O, Daedro. He he <laughs> is a crafter and he he is very cheap. Like he basically says that he'll craft it for at cost. So anyway, I don't know, man. He's looking for some business. Right. If you guys need it, man, send it to Daedro. He'll hook you up. And, and you know what? If you're in exile. And you need gay sex? Contact Ifrin. <laughs> I-F-R-I-I-N. <laughs> He's cheap. He'll basically do it for cost. So uh, just go ahead and contact him. He'll hook you up. He's got a wedding <laughs> for like a couple of weeks. So, so be patient with he, he, He's getting married? <laughs> no, I said, no. I said he's got a waiting list of a couple of weeks. Is, is that what you he's said? Be patient. Oh, I thought you said he's got a wedding in a couple of weeks. Dude, and I about had a heart attack. I was like, fuck. How much is that going to cost? <laughs> I don't know. Because, I, I mean, don't know if you're, you're going to gonna need handlers for all the retards. He's <laughs> <laughs> just going to eat your face after this. He's going to go like a, a Chaz hunt. He can come kill me, dude. I don't care if he kills me. I'm enjoying our, our jousting. <laughs> so, it's all fun in games. Either way... How are we doing on time so far this week? I think it just got away from me. Yeah, we, we're, we're pushing... Uh, we're over 50 minutes. Maybe we should do our uh, winners and our losers of the week. Okay. You want to start this time, uh, I'm going to go first with... Yeah, I am. I want to go with my loser of the week because he's, he's a loser. Um, straight up, my loser of the week is Maiden. Um, I, I know everybody in Kinos knows Maiden because he's been rejected from every guild. Um, he, uh, has been booted from a lot of guilds. Uh, he's basically a, a retard and a tool. That's just the good stuff about him. Um, the bad stuff is, he's a liar. Yep. He's 
the I busted him because he said that nobody listens to our podcast. But then he went and directly quoted stuff from our podcast, which means that somebody listened to it. Therefore, he's a fucking liar. But you know, Meaton's my loser of the week, just on the basis that he's retarded and he's a liar. Well, you know, zergs to death. And Mayton, he gives twelve-year-olds a bad name. He really does. He does, dude. I know plenty of twelve-year-olds. I know a lot of twelve-year-olds. Not as many as Zoso, but I know quite a few twelve-year-olds. Yeah, there's some twelve. There's some uh, real good twelve-year-olds out there. Yeah, none of them are like them. In fact, uh, you got owned by a 12-year-old, so you'd be an expert in that area. Yeah, Mini Chimp. Mini Chimp pwned my face. But, uh, yeah, actually, you know, I got into a fight with Chimp today. I guess he's that's the, that's the uh, elder Mini Chimp. I guess that's uh, Mini Chimp Sr. Uh, we got in a fight today. I don't know if he killed me or not. I died, but it, it, was, it was like eight on four, so... Um, I'm not really sure what was going on there. It was a big, it was a big mess. But uh, anyway, whatever. Got in a fight with Chimp. It was fun. Anyway, Chad, yeah, you ever got yeah. a fight with a virus? You? Because you know that's different, Dad. No. Are you serious? Yeah, man. Holy shit! I did not you, know that. Isn't Virus You the bruiser? Yeah, he's the bruiser. He used to have a wizard, but now he's leveled up a bruiser. That's Ifrin's dad. Yeah, man. How like, old is Ifrin? I thought people knew that. Oh, uh, he's he's not that old, but like, Virus is only thirty something. They're like a fire sun team. So Ifrin's like fourteen. <laughs> he's not fourteen. He goes to class all the time. He tells us it's a bit older than fourteen. Wow. Oh my god, dude! I'm ripping on somebody's like fifteen year old kid. Wow. I had That's I, I had no clue. I feel horrible. I'm, I'm going to hell. Why is usually they come hunting for your face, so what you have to hear? He already did. One day, they were doing the new Dark Hand. I call it the Dark Hand. It's where a bruiser drags me off the cliff without really hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> I've, it's a new dance craze. It's it's obviously carrying on everywhere, because every Dark Hand bruiser I've come across uses it. We've only got two. But, so, I, I had no clue. Virus sex is Ifrin's father. Yeah. Wow, you heard it here first. Wow. Um, I apologize, because I actually like Virus X, and I've talked to him a couple of times. Um, I in no speaker. way meant reference to retardation in your family line. <laughs> I'm sure obviously, he really obviously good Ifrin was adopted. It's the only thing I can think of. Well, that, I uh, mean, if you if you heard Ifrin talk, their voices are so similar. You can definitely see, like, the, the relationship. Well, that's cool. Oh, well, wow, dude, I'm shocked. I know, I don't even know what to say about that. I, I'm going to go into my losers then, since, uh, Chaz, you did yours. Uh, I mean, this is easy. Uh, token Farmers, man. Uh, the Guild Art of War. Um, if it's true, I don't know. You know, if it's not, you know, let us know. Dispute dispute our uh, sources here. But anyway, uh, Token Farmers and, you know, those four people that got busted. And also the, the, the people that uh, Jeff Malone busted, Barisi and Wygraf and Waldo, those guys, you know, m- they're my losers too. So all these damn token farmers, you know, you're all losers. I mean, go out and play. Go out and play the game. Why just sit there and farm alts? I mean, go out and play a little bit. You know, geez, be a little bit. Might be fun. You know. I wouldn't update on that story. The Barisi story. We Graf and Waldo <laughs> have relocated to Nixilus Forest. Not a lie. They're near like um, the respawn point. That's something to do with a bear, like bear caves or something. Really? Oh, okay, um, I know that one. My deputy reporter Creighton, he went out and found them. So, like, after that, after the bust, they moved on, but they didn't find a very good hiding place because it's right outside Haven, basically. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have absolutely thought? That, what a shock. Yeah. I wonder if they're, are they Japanese? You think they're Japanese? I don't know. He d- well, Barisi didn't respond when I was talking to him, but maybe he was just busy. Did you try speaking to him in Australian? I, oh, well, I don't know, like, I was talking to him in Argot, because that's the, um, the Exiles language. He probably just threw a bunch of squiggly lines. <laughs> oh, wow. Good idea. Try Australian next time. I don't know whatever fancy dancy language you guys have. But, uh, I'm sure it sounds beautiful in person. Oh, no, it's hard to understand those most of the time. Alright, give me your loser of the week, Jeff. A loser? Um, jeez. Honestly, guys, I'm going to have a hard time picking a loser. Oh, come now. Oh, well, I know, because Jeff Malone has a reputation of not being, you know, being a good guy, so you don't want to ruin ruin his reputation here by, you know, calling somebody out. 
Okay. Uh, okay, I've got one. I've got one. I want to pick Pet from Onyx. That's my loser of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pet's awesome because, but, um, because he's a loser if everyone on the server he's got a new robe the other night from um, the Pumpkin King so if everyone on the server can help like beat him up this week so he doesn't think he's too good that'd be excellent <laughs> genius <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's everyone, funny everyone gets Pet alright Pet's a loser of the week kill him you should have like a sponsored kill of the week and get people oh, to email your screenshots that would be genius so Ooh, yeah that is good alright you Let's heard it first that. Hey, Pet, Jeff Malone just marked you. You're the kill of the week. <laughs> so We'll do that. Our special guests get to pick a kill of the week. Yep. So Excellent. Everybody that kills Pet this week, get a screenshot of it, and then whenever, what we'll do is when I post this on the Nagafin forums, post that kill kill shot uh, within the uh, podcast episode post. So uh, that'll be great. There you go. New feature. I'll have to make a little nice. post about that, too. So, uh a uh, new feature uh, just straight from Jeff Malone man uh kill of the week so it's going to be it's going to be pet that's awesome i'm i'm stoked all right uh, um my winner of the week my winner of the week is obviously onyx i mean taking down pumpkin good job dude contested mob hadn't been taken down on the server yet i don't think had it i think uh, it was the server first no, no, no. so yeah congrats to onyx um you hacking Times four running sons of bitches. If you had null form, uh, you'd be the ultimate hacksers. Good job. Yep. Well, that, you know my winner. Nah, of the I'm week, just kidding, but good job. My winner of the week is sort of on the same the same lines. Um, I'm going to mention. I'm going to throw two guilds out. One is going to be uh, brute force. We we talked about them before because they got death toll access a couple weeks ago, and uh, they were able to take down Terranax. They had a little bit of help from. Was it Exodus? Did some guys from Exodus help them out to fill out um, um, their raid? I think it might have been Arbor or Exodus. Yeah, they One they had a the two. They've got a brute force has a pretty solid times three. Um, you know, with a bunch of you know great players, and um, so they had. Uh, I think they had four or five people from uh, other Kino sort of that were not in their guild to help them out with that, but uh, filled out their raid and they took down Terranax. But that's a uh, good job to them. They've done a lot of work to get to where they're at. And I'm going to say something else. I'm going to throw out us, uh, Radiant Legion, just mainly because we're a bunch of scrubs and we've taken three out of the four dragons down now. So we're we're one dragon away from Death Toll access ourselves. So that just proves yep. it right there. If if fucking if we can do it, damn anybody can do it. Really, seriously. I mean, Gene, I mean, we're we're retards. Yeah, we well literally we, and. Yeah, we took down Gornair. We zerged the thing to death. <laughs> yeah, we took down Gornair, and we all we got is Talondor left, and then we'll we'll have uh, Death Toll access as a guild. We actually have one person that does have access now, but he he came to our guild having already killed Talondor. But we're gonna we're not gonna say as a guild that we've done it yet until we kill Talondor. As exactly. A so good plug. Good plug. Yep. All right, now Jeff. As long as it's not Ifrin, who's your winner of the week? Okay, well, I like both of your two winners of the week, i got to say, because I was there watching Onyx kill the pumpkin guy, and they did a great job, and they're just going from strength to strength, and that's awesome. And the Radiant Legion guys, like, because I always get on and ask Chaz, what are you guys rating, how are you going? And it sounds like you guys are going really good as well. But I'm going to be a softie, Thank you. and I'm going to pick Dark Hand for my winner of the week, because we're also <laughs> going from strength to strength in what we've been doing. I think you guys have. I think you guys went through a change, and... Uh, you're getting back to your roots again. It's good, to see that. it's good to see that. Yeah, it went a little quiet after Vanguard and a few different things happened. But honestly, lately it's just been sweet. Like we're, um, I mean, even though we love the P doing the PvP, we've been going really well, like on the PvE front and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm just heaps proud of the things that we're getting done as a guild, as a team. So I want to give my guys a big hug, basically. There's a couple of uh, people in your guild that wouldn't mind giving a hug. <laughs> so oh yeah. We got some cuties. Yes, definitely. Um, I truly, truly believe that um, Kasai is a cutie. I'm, I'm looking forward to hugging him sometime. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll come to Fan Fest. He can. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. We should all go to Fan Fest. Everybody should go to Fan Fest. Just be. It's in Vegas, for the love of God. If you can't find something else to do in Vegas, you're retarded. You're a dumbass. You can gamble. You can go see stupid shows. Um, you can get a nice facial. Whatever you want. Yep. 
Go to Vegas for the Fan Fest. We need a new poll before we go. Yeah, we, and uh, I think we've uh, decided what our poll is going to be. Again, this is uh, we're going to talk about uh, exploiting and the token farmers. Uh, the people that they got busted for the token farming, they had all their, their uh, PvP gear taken away. And uh, basically, the poll is, was that, you know, how do you rate that punishment? Um, was it right. too much? Was it not enough? Or was it just right? Uh, because, again, some people probably think, oh, my gosh, they took all their, you know, that's that's crazy, take all their gear away. Some people say, hey, that's just right, that's what they should have got. And other people think, hey, maybe they should have been banned or suspended or something like that. So, anyway, that poll's going to be up, uh, you know. Um, tell us what you think. Definitely. All right, man. I think uh, we've had a definite good show today. Jeff, thank you so much. I'm happy you uh, talked and participated and uh, came and chatted. Yeah, you know what we need to do, <laughs> Jeff? Yeah. We need to meet up somewhere, and we need to get a screenshot of all of us so we can get posted on your website, and then and then uh, yeah, we'll Chaz and I will kill you. I tell you what, right now I'm at the Princess by myself. There's no one else up here. You two come up, and we'll get a nice shirtless <laughs> uh, three-man shot. Oh, that'd be great. Well, I'm not in the game. I'll try and log in. We'll try and get up there. Of course, Dark Hand will probably be waiting for us, and I'll probably get ganked or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that one alone. <laughs> I'll wait. Never we'll wait. We'll get a nice I've already, Hey, Chaz, I've already claimed my five DKP this week for killing you. I don't need another. <laughs> i tell you what, man. Sorry. Get ten with me and one-shot me. I don't <laughs> know. There should be ten points for one-shotting me. Dude, you're a healer. I'm a noob. I couldn't, like, kill you if it was one-on-one -on -one in, like, about a thousand years. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, I you could, I dude. Yeah, you could. I, I, I don't give Rangers a good name. That's why I've been playing my Mystic Heaps lately. Well, get your Mystic up, dude, because Mystics are fun. Yep. They They're are, awesome. Man. They're uber. Well, all right, Jeff. Thank you, dude, very, very, very much. That was my pleasure. I hope I wasn't, like, too that boring for everyone. No, that was great, man. No, not at all. All right. Then, that does uh, it. I think we're out of here. That does it. We'll uh, see you guys next week, Nagafin. Laters. Uh, laters, Nagafin. Bye, Nagafin. Well, them boys down there in Texas, they got some damn fine weed. Cause they small across the Rio, they use that Mexican breed. Well, that's exploiting cheap labor, but hell, that's a Texacon's creed. Them boys are down in Texas, got some damn fine weed. Colorado, they just a soon pound for gold. The nights are too long, the growing season's too cold. They just a soon smoke a joint to Jason Bowling and roll. They say that's what I've been told. Yeah, them bulls on Oklahoma, they don't so wrong. They're too damn skinny, way too long. Well, I ain't no holy roller, so I just keep the bone. And boys are moving on